Get ready, folks, because today we're diving into the world of high-protein food at its finest. Welcome to this delicious adventure where we'll be crafting the most scrumptious, mouth-watering, and heartwarming American-style meatloaf you have ever tasted. Hey, I'm nutritionist Scott Bapte, and welcome back to my Food for Fitness kitchen. This recipe that I'm about to show you today is a total belter. This easy meatloaf recipe just takes a few minutes to prepare before you shove it into the oven, and it tastes like some of those beautiful meatloaf recipes that are found in the southern parts of the US of A. It's tender, juicy, flavoursome, and most importantly, absolutely loaded in protein. We're going to use pork mince, which in my opinion is a really good value cut of meat, and it's super lean as well. 5% it really does help keep the calories down. The tangy, sweet glaze that we're going to put on top of the meatloaf before it goes into the oven is absolutely delicious, and it will have you coming back for seconds, thirds, and really the difficulty is stopping, it's so, so good. Now, if you do manage to exercise restraint and not eat all of this in one go, it is delicious cold the next day in a sandwich, in a wrap, or even chopped up into a salad. Let's cook. So first things first, we are going to finely chop an onion. As you can see, I'm using a red onion, but if you've only got white, that's absolutely fine. But chop this as fine as you can, as fine as your chopping abilities allow you to go, just so it means you don't have big chunks of vegetables in your meatloaf. Do the same with a pepper. I'm using a red pepper. Again, you can use what you have in the fridge. I tend to favor red peppers. I just think it's a nicer, sweeter taste. And green peppers can sometimes be a bit bitter. Anyway, you then add that to a mixing bowl. As you can see, I'm using the back of my knife. This was a tactic a subscriber showed me so that it stops the knife from blunting. So there you go. And at this point in the video, please do hit that like button if you've not had a chance to do so. And then add your pork mince to the mixing bowl. Make sure you take away the wrapper. The main flavours in this meatloaf are going to come from the barbecue seasoning. Add some oats, that helps to retain moisture. Milk is for binding. Garlic, again, just gives it that garlicky flavour, which is delicious. And the egg also helps with binding it, along with giving it a little extra protein boost. Then you want to make sure your hands are nice and clean, your nails are nice and trimmed so you don't get pork mince stuck under your fingernails. And then just get stuck into that mixing bowl and make sure it's all nicely combined. Again, you could put a glove on if you wanted, but it doesn't matter. Just get mixed and wash your hands thoroughly after. Then get your bread tin, and I'm using some one calorie spray for greasing it, or you could just use butter or oil on a little bit of kitchen roll. But then add your mixture to the bread tin. You can use your hand or the back of a spoon to really just press it down to get rid of any air pockets and to try and make it a little denser just means that when you come to slice it at the end, it's less likely to fall apart. And once you've done that, we're going to put on some sauce for a glaze. I'm using two tablespoons of barbecue sauce along with two tablespoons of ketchup. But you can do other things. You could try sweet chili sauce or brown sauce or just barbecue or just ketchup. But I like the mix of ketchup and barbecue sauce for this and then mix it all through and then just try and spread it relatively evenly across the top of the mixture before putting the whole thing into your oven at about 180 degrees for 45 minutes. When it comes out of the oven, let it rest for about 10 minutes and that lets the juices soak back into it. And you can remove it from the bread tin like this. To be honest, when I'm serving it normally, I actually just keep it in the bread tin. It's just easier to slice and stops it falling apart. But I'm only kind of doing this to show you in the video. And then take your time. Again, if you let it cool a little bit, it's easier to slice without falling apart. But either way, it is absolutely delicious. So there we have it. That is how you make a delicious, juicy, flavoursome meatloaf. It's excellent hot, so I'm not going to dilly-dally, I'm going to get stuck into this, but it works really well cold, so if you've got leftovers, popping in a sandwich, a wrap, or having it with a salad works just as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are not a subscriber, please do click that subscribe button, because then it means you'll get notified as soon as I post a new high-protein recipe. And also, if you haven't had a chance already, please do click that like button. It really does help me out with the channel. It allows more people to see these videos, and spread the word about high protein recipes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you later.